Hi, I'm Asha. Welcome back to my isolated island. I want to do a little video today about feet because our feet, I think, work really hard when we skate. And I don't think many skaters spend a lot of time looking after their feet. And I do because um, at the end of a day of skating, I've usually been on skates anything from five to eight hours and my feet tell me that they need some attention. So these are some simple exercises you can do to sort of help strengthen the muscles in your feet um, and also some kind of relieving things you can do with achy feet once you finish skating, okay? So um, follow along. Uh, you just need um, bare feet. Uh, you could use a yoga mat or a towel if you've got a very hard floor, but you don't have to. Yeah. Um, let's start. I'll start with the um, exercises, sort of just feet strengthening exercises, and then the kind of relaxing, soothing practices you can do for your feet. Enjoy. Your feet will thank you. <laughs> Okay, so I want you to begin with a chair, all right? Because you're gonna start off just balancing your fingertips on a chair, round about two foot lengths sideways from the chair. So I want you to put your feet about a hand's width or a foot width apart. So you imagine one foot next to, so you could get one foot in between your two feet. Now, make sure that your feet are not slightly turned out. Naturally, when we stand, we do this with our feet. I want you to lift your toes and put them in. And if you were to look at a mirror in front of you, you would not see your heels. So you can see, if I do, if I do this, you can see my heels. And here, the heels are directly behind your feet, okay? It will feel like your toes are in slightly. That's correct. Okay, so first of all, I want you just to lift up your toes and bring them down, okay? And every now and then I'm gonna show you these from the side, lift up your toes and bring them down, okay? And now I want you to lift up your toes and try to place your little toes down first, then the next toe, then the next toe, and finally the big toe. So you'll sort of, and again, lift up, spread your toes as much as you can and try and place little toe, next toe, and finally, big toe. So now you should feel like your toes are more spread on the floor. So fingertips on your chair. Do not lean into your chair. Yeah, just the fingertips. And we're very gently going to rise up onto your tippy toes. Hold it for a few seconds and then down. Okay, and you're going down very slowly. Now I want you to strengthen or rather, you know, pull up your kneecaps, make your entire thighs and legs super tight as in contracted so up you go and look i'm here with my fingertips i could tap yeah and i want you to really feel that you're just with the fingertips um just in case you lose your balance okay now keep going i'm going to just show you again from the side so legs straight and i want you to squeeze your thighs your glutes your calves yeah and then very slowly down. Okay, and again, up, okay, and down. So this isn't just a foot exercise, but it's a leg exercise too. Now, when you feel like you don't need to hold onto the chair, you can just point your fingers straight down to the floor. Now, what happens to most people when they try and balance in this position is that the heels go out, yeah? And by pulling your heels in and pushing down on the base of your big toes, this is how you strengthen the feet, right? So if that happens, and again, putting a mirror on the floor in front of you is really useful to show you if that's gonna happen. So now I want you to stay up and see how long you can stay up for, right? So again, straighten the knees, straighten the thighs, squeeze the glutes, yeah? And see how high, sorry, see how long you can stay there for. Okay, you might be holding onto the chair at this point, that's fine, but keep testing yourself. Can you take your fingertips off the chair? Okay, good, keep going, one more. Come down and rest, and then straighten everything, really pull the legs in, come up, and hold. Good. And again, you'll even feel, if you put your hand on your tummy muscles, you'll feel that your core is engaged doing this. Yep and gently down, okay? So now just 
give each foot a little circle at the ankle, one direction and the other direction and the other foot. Great. Okay, so I'm just going to get my mat. I find that this floor is quite, quite hard. So let's do a bit of flexibility work with the ankles. So let's go this way. So I want you to put your toes behind you and I want you to stick your ankle out to the side, hold it for a little while, and then straight. So let me show you from the side. Straight, bending the toes the other way, and then allow the ankle to conk out to the side, and that should feel a nice stretch on this tendon along the side of the ankle, which often gets quite a lot of compression when we skate. Yeah, so again, now bend the toe, a little bit this way and roll over the toes forwards keep breathing and then ankle out yep one more on that side forwards so really try and dig the the big toenail into the floor this is why a bit of padding can be useful if you're on a hard floor and ankle out good okay other foot so, big toenail into the floor, straight ahead. You can feel those tendons on the front of the foot being stretched. And then gently conk out the ankle. Oh, that feels good. I've actually just been filming for a little while. So I find this is very, very nice after I finish skating. And again, so put the foot back flat. Yeah, forwards with the toes. Sorry, the toes going backwards, forwards with the foot, and then ankle out to the side. Good, last one. So we're doing three on each leg, and ankle out. Oh, this one really, ah, oh, feels great. <laughs> okay. So, I now want you to take the up that we did in the first movement. So again, feet parallel, a foot width apart. So spread your toes, put them down. So try and do this without a chair now, out of, out of reach. So up onto the toes and then down onto the heels. Rocking up and rocking back. And again, the heels part, you can see I find it quite difficult because guess what? I spend my life trying not to have my weight on my heels in skates. Whoa, there we go. And it's okay if you overbalance. That's part, of, that's part of the work. So you're trying to actually lift the whole ball of your foot off the floor, not just your toes. Yeah? And try and keep your knees completely straight for this. So straight. Yeah? Up and back. Up. And again, if your ankles are rolling out, push down on the base of the big toe. Ooh. So you can see, for me, it's really the backward heel part is, whoa, pretty precarious. So take it nice and gently. Okay. Right, next part. Now that you're sitting on the floor, I want you to find a way that you can sort of easily hold your foot. So I find that one foot tucked under like this is pretty good. Some people might find one foot tucked out or even in front of you like this. Whatever is comfortable for you, okay? So I want you to grab your foot with your thumbs on the top and your hands underneath. And I then want you to do this movement gently. So you're basically, you know, your, uh, the fingers underneath are on the ball of your foot. You're just working on the ball of the foot area. So you're slowly, I don't know if you can see that, you're moving. And I find this, especially after lots of skating, and I'm now kind of really holding my foot. And I'm moving slightly across the side of the foot. And I'm doing this with my fingers into the base of my ball of the foot, which feels fabulous after skating. 
So I tend to do a bit of this. Feels great. Oh, nice, change foot. So again. And just try to relax the foot. Okay, and I'm also bending the toes. I'm sort of doing this around the front of my foot. So curling the toes forwards also feels nice. It's just getting some mobility back into the feet. Yeah. Good. Okay. That already feels better. Right, let's change foot again. Our ankles when we skate take quite a lot of pressure. And one of the easiest ways I find of sort of loosening the ankle is to grab your ankle, okay, and then shake your foot. <laughs> kind of looks funny, but you want your foot to be kind of relaxed. I've got my elbow rested on my knee here, and you're just shaking your foot. And I've always done this, and I find it really quite nice. I know it looks kind of weird. Good, change leg. <laughs> you look, my foot looks like a dead fish. <laughs> looks very odd, but it feels really nice. Okay, good. Right, final thing, you wanna try and get a ball, either a tennis ball or a myofascial massage ball or any, any ball. Okay, so I have this, which is a little pink ball with nobbles on it. Uh, you do not need the nobbles. Um, personally, this works well for me. I don't travel anywhere without this. I use it in my spine, I use it in my shoulders, but also my feet. So, you know, a tennis ball can be very useful as well. So I want you just to place the ball in the ball of your foot and then put your heel down and just start leaning in. Notice that my hip, I'm gonna move my hip forwards to produce the weight and then just hold it there for a couple of seconds. And then when I release, I'm moving maybe half a centimeter with the ball across, sideways across the ball of my foot. So you can see from the front, I'm moving the ball slightly over that side. So you're leaning in and then holding. And then release, move it slightly. And then oh, lean in again. Oh, that feels so good. And at certain particular points, it's what I call blissful agony. <laughs> and again. Oh. So finding those points, you know, and just to show you, I'm probably, you know, I'm moving the ball across the ball of my foot in different points, okay? So now take the ball, keep your heel off the floor and just roll it along the length of your foot, sort of from one toe to the heel. Yeah, and from the side you'll see. And again, this is gonna roll all the way along the arch of the foot Oh. And you can do this slowly. I do think slow is better. And try not to always get the same path. Go sometimes in the middle. This is more on the outside, little edge side, little toe side of the foot, big toe side of the foot. But this is fantastic for um, activating the fascia. So the fascia is all the bits in between everything. So that means, you know, it's the material that covers all your muscles and the tendons. It's the jelly-like stuff that surrounds everything. And often it's the fascia that gets dry and tight and these kind of movements. Oh, that feels fantastic. And then you can place your weight on the ball of your foot and just push down on the heel. And again, gently just move it a couple of centimeters inwards or outwards. So you can see with this one, I'm putting pressure on one part, then in the middle, then on the inside. Okay. And obviously you're gonna do that on both feet. Oh, that feels great. And to be honest, 
Oh, I couldn't live without this ball. I also think putting it on the ball of the foot and just leaning in is also gonna stretch your calf muscle, which if you've been skating, will have just been worked quite intensely. Oh, that's heaven. It's intense, but it's very, very therapeutic. Now, when you get to a point that feels really uh, intense and either, you know, some people might say it was painful or discomfort, that's the time to hold and breathe. And see if you can gauge your way between discomfort and pain. I don't think it should be pain per se, but discomfort is totally fine. And a lot of people think discomfort is pain. And I urge you to uh, feel your way through that. And then breathe when you're in an intense part because that's when the energy that's stuck in that point can start to release. Good. Oh, lovely. So you can do this. I do this when I'm sitting down. So if I'm on an airplane for hours, I've been doing that for a while, um, I will do this under my seat. You could do this while sitting at your computer, working at home. Yeah, and it's a really fantastic way to work your feet. So I hope that helps. My feet now feel completely different to when I started and you know they feel different and better so do look after your feet um you want to have fit feet <laughs> and people rarely talk about feet being fit and considering what we do with our feet skating the fitter they are the better and obviously the more comfortable and relaxed they are afterwards the better as well so good luck with that let me know how it goes and uh, see if you can get yourself one of these uh, massage ball or myofascial massage balls. Uh, you can get them all kinds of sizes. Something that's more or less the size of your fist. Really great idea. Um, I might do some other uh, tutorials about what else you can do with these. I spend hours every day um, with these. <laughs> Mainly because I get a back backache if I sit down. So I use these when I'm sitting and then I don't get backache. So I highly, highly recommend them. Hope that's helpful. Let me know how your feet feel. <laughs> Take care. See you next time. Bye.